Hi, Cassandra, aka The Chef from Pearls. Today I'm going to do a video for my faux New York strip. So I'm going to show you how I prep the salmon. And it's a really easy dish to do. And so we're going to start. What I do is I try to get, uh, we're working with um, salmon steaks. These about inch, an inch thick, maybe an inch and a half. And um, I usually like to use a bone and knife, but I don't have one with me today. I'm not at home. So we're going to use a really sharp knife. And what we're going to do is we're going to go along this line here. So what we're trying to do is remove the bones and then come along the belt, the line, inside the line of the belly. Because we want to remove the bones that are there as well. This is how we start getting it to look like um, a New York strip. Once we're done, we're going to go through and you'll see there's pin bones still. You don't want that in your steak or faux steak. So we're going to pull those off. Actually, I'm going to use the tip of the knife to just try and trim this. Sorry. Trim this area right here. Okay. Now, if you run your hand along the fish, you'll, you'll feel there's some pin bones. Um, you can use a needle nose prior to help pull them out, but I just use the side of my knife and my, my thumb to kind of just grab it and pull it out. Okay, let me feel if there's any more. So we're good. Now, when I say that this is an easy dish, very easy. We've got, once you've cut your faux strips, we're going to use Old Bay. Bam. Um, I think it's the simplest and best seasoning there is for seafood. Let's just keep it simple. It's got, I don't know how many herbs and blends of things in there, including salt. So that's so I just dust the, um, the strips with it. You don't want to overdo it because it does have salt in it and you don't want it to be too salty. So I'm just rubbing it in. Now, we're going to go back to my trusty grill pan, which I've lightly boiled with some olive oil. I'm just testing the heat. It's not as hot as I would like because I can bring my hand really close. I want it to get a little bit hotter. Let me turn this fire up. Once it's hot enough, we're going to put the, the strips on the pan. Okay, so my pan is hot enough now. See, I can't bring it really close. You can see a little smoke coming off of it from the um, the olive oil that I, I rubbed the pan down with. And for those of you who don't know, this is a cast iron grill pan. I think it's the best thing ever. I love, love, love um, my grill pan. So we're just gonna lay the strips down in the pan. The key to uh, grilling fish is don't mess with it. <laughs> It'll tell you when it needs to be turned. A lot of people have a tendency, they put something in the pan and they feel like they got to keep fidgeting and moving it and all that stuff. No. Put it in the pan, leave it alone, let the pan and the fish work together and it will let you know. You'll start to see um, it getting opaque along the line here and it'll be easy to move the fish. Have my put down. This is my fish turner. Love it. Best investment. These two things, the grill pan and this fish turner, I think everybody should have one. And had I still had an A-store, I would direct you there. But I no longer have an A-store. We're not going to get into it. Catch my periscope on that. As you can see, along here, you can see it's starting to turn opaque. You can see it's getting a lighter pink there. I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit so it can, it'll come up some more. Mmm, smells yummy. Camera woman, what do you think? Smells delicious, yeah. Okay. 
Now the, the, the final part of making this fish, so let me see. You see how easily it comes up? I didn't have to fight it, it's not falling apart. We're just gonna turn it over. See the beautiful grill marks, that's what you want. You see, if you keep fidgeting with it, you won't get the grill marks. You won't get the fish to turn over as easily as I did. I'm gonna do it, same thing over here. Beautiful. I'm just gonna let it finish cooking through. What I'm getting ready to do now is um, brush, brush a glaze over it. I use a sweet Thai chili glaze. So it's got a little bit of spice, a little bit of sweet, and it gives the, the salmon a really nice um, shine. And bam. The dinner is ready in less than 15 minutes. And that's my faux New York strip made from salmon. Those of you that want beef without the beef. <laughs> Again, that's this is your girl Cassandra, aka the Chef from Pearls. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. There'll be more to come.